I just got done driving this thing around for about roughly 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and I got some filming done. So you're going you're gonna to watch me drive this thing around. It's kind of new, new to me uh, doing POVs. But let me know if you like it. Um, I was really excited to film a video like this. I hope you guys enjoy the POV. Let me know what you think. Uh, keep, keep watching. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. See that wrap, dude? Oh, good day. Let's go get him. is things pretty sick it's pretty low and loud too I can hear that bug eye way back here it's bouncing off all the walls it's crazy it's pretty loud I think it has a an n1 race Nvidia it's pretty sick I'm driving in Air Forces right now, so bear with me. May not be the smoothest tool in the shed, but I'll make do. Look at all these bikes. See a couple Ducatis in there. Sick. What's up, man? Here's that dude with the sick wrap. That Mercedes is glowing. I think I've seen him around before. I think the front end isn't wrapped. But it's pretty sick. It's a cool color. I can see the Mercedes reflecting off this Mazda. <laughs> it's like pretty crazy actually. Nobody knows how to flip a U-turn right here. You gotta go all the way.
guys see that blast pipe, dude? What the heck is that? That's pretty wild. Who built that? That's my question. Who created that in a lab? Vortec getting at it. Let's go. I just saw a green M4 as well. That was freaking sick. Most bikers don't even care about cars anymore because cars aren't even fast to them anymore. But most car people like bikes. Like, I like bikes. But I think people that ride bikes are just not interested in cars. Unless it's some cool foreign vehicle or, or some sort of super hyper car or something crazy, flashy. But... Japanese cars, you know, I don't think bikers could give, give less of a crap about. Wish I would have washed the windshield beforehand. Lesson learned. Turbo spooling on this G Wagon right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That sounds freaking nuts.